Hey everyone, we're back. Another week after a holiday. Hope everyone's all right, doing okay. Hopefully they enjoyed it, had fun, spent time with family, friends. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, we're back. Sunday night, enjoyable after this long, enjoyable week. I'm back here, obviously, with my co-host. Zerona with an X. Which is what she always says. And then me, Brian, your other co-host. So glad to be back, guys. Um, Sadly, uh, it was kind of difficult to get people to come join. I had two people in mind, good friends of mine. But uh, they're of older age and have uh, families and such. It was a little bit more difficult to get. Um, so hopefully what I hope is to get a clear plan on that and I'll talk to them better. If not, we'll have somebody else, but, uh, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to that, but it was a bit difficult. So we'll see. But, um, to this today, pretty much, uh, I think it's just going to be a very small episode, uh, kind of just talk about like this weekend or this past week. Uh, we had something similar last week for the holidays, but, just finishing it up and then obviously we have a big holiday coming up next month um so i may be looking forward to that maybe we'll do like a super cool um like holiday special for that like ending december like grabbing like a couple people not just like one or two and then that'd be pretty fun but um yeah so this week we'll just talk about yeah just the end of the week the holiday uh what we've been up to then i'll see just catch you up hopefully next week on a cool episode of bringing new people in so yeah so i guess we'll start just uh, zarona how was the holiday how was the week how was the weekend it was good um but thanksgiving i went to a nigerian family's house to eat so it's like because i'm not used to having thanksgiving with people that i'm used to like i either have thanksgiving or the lunar new year or people call it chinese new year but lunar yeah. year, like vietnamese or another culture but it's my first time having holiday with people similar to my culture so it was kind of easy to blend in i felt kind of weird it was kind of like home so i was more comfortable but i was like wait i've never actually spent holiday with people from the same country as I am in you know so it was good um most of the time I've been cooking cleaning my brother is here so I've been cooking invited some of his friends to come eat um yeah so far it was just a day for me to relax sit back and do some homework of course (laughs) but Oh, uh, so about me, um, yeah, uh, nothing special. Just went to uh, my dad, spent a little with him, uh, saw some movies, some games going on. Um, then spent it with my mother and sister. Uh, they were off during the whole week, so I just decided to go over, uh, stay there a lot, and then a nice quality time, very fun. Um, today, my uncle, uh, who lives close by, uh, dropped by. Uh, we got to pretty much be with him all day and then that was super fun he's super enjoyable whenever i get to see him um but yeah just spent it with some family and some friends so calm resting time pretty much is what we had and then a lot of good food so but uh yeah nothing super crazy nothing super um, anything like that but uh yeah i mean mostly the holidays for i guess my family is mostly just like resting up uh, resting, enjoying, seeing them again. Because uh, most of my family, I would say, don't even live remotely close by. Just have um, an aunt, some cousins that live pretty close by. But then other than that, like maybe one or two in Miami and then the rest is pretty much Connecticut. Um, So pretty much we have like no one here really. It's just us. So that's why I'm super close to my mother and my sister. And then obviously when I go to my dad's and such. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, anything other than school? Uh, how, how about this? How, obviously, this is your 
first time staying here like completely mm-hmm. how has the holiday been like different like what is like how was the holiday different to like when you were in Korea and such or like what what are things you maybe that you experience now during this week that you're looking forward to like for like December Christmas New Year's things like that that are coming up in the future I think because I don't have a car so I don't go out mm. so I, people were, were like oh let's go out because I only went out once it's a week and I don't really have a lot of friends here. Even the friends I have, they don't have cars because most of them are international too. So the only thing different I'll say is that the fact that I'm able to see people who look like me or hang out with people who are like me, like from Nigeria, I think that's the only difference. But in terms of like holiday events and stuff, because I'm in a very, I'm in, I'm in the suburb, suburbs, yeah, at countryside. It's not really like mm-hmm. a city. So there's not really a lot of things to do. Like everything is closed. It's not open like 24 seven, like how Korea is there. You can't walk around the distance. It's very, and like, there's no like walkways. It's mostly just trees. There's, there's not a lot of walkways. So I'll say like my, even for Christmas, this is going to be really boring to be honest with you. Cause I'm not going to do anything. And, the friends that I have that was like, oh, let me just take you out. They're going to meet their families or they're traveling back. So hmm. I was like, because, yeah, I don't really have anything to do. Probably if a Nigerian family invites me, I'll definitely go. But the thing is, who's going to take me there? And Uber is so expensive. So I'm not, to be honest with you, the holidays, I'm just looking for what I can what work I can do for the holidays instead of, you know what I mean? Um, The only difference is the fact that you get to, I got to spend um, um, the holidays with people that are from Nigeria. Um, I haven't really explored here because of the, like the fact that I have cars and fact that I don't really have a lot of friends because in the master degree, when you're doing your master's, people are not as friendly as when you're doing your undergrad and most Mm -hmm. people, because it's the MBA, so most people are like working, they have kids, you know. Well, there, yeah. It's not really something I'll say, like, oh, I look forward to doing, but it's just like, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, pretty much during that time, yeah. Especially since you're like on your own and such, you gotta definitely like work and deal with a lot of things, so it's a lot more crazy, but. Hopefully that will change once you get your car. I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, please. If you want to donate a car to me, please. <laughs> a golf cart is also okay, too. Can you drive a golf cart on the highway? No. Not that highway. For real? Yeah. Yeah, unless you want to be in jail for a while. But but, but why 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 is golf cart not allowed on the highway? Because they are cars. Carts, not cars, but... But car, carts, you just have to add a T at the end. It's different, but that's why there's a little T at the end of it. That's why it's different. But uh, it's mostly, obviously, for safety reasons. Because just imagine if you were in one of those and then a car just, you know, you're pretty much a goner, so... But it's still moving. Okay, what if it's a golf cart, but I added, like, no. flames to it to make it, like, faster? No. You're stuck until you get a car of just an But bikes are allowed on highways. Huh? Bikes are allowed on highways. Uh, you mean, like, motorbikes? Yeah. Different. What about bicycles? Are bicycles allowed on highways? No. But I've seen one on the highway. Well, it shouldn't be. It should definitely not be there. Um, what about it's horses? America? It's crazy stuff you see here. There's just a bunch of crazy stuff. Horses. I don't mind having a horse on the highway. Okay. Now, you, now you're just talking ludicrous. No, I'm just saying, like, let's, like, who is, okay, so I'm having a law class, right? Oh. Maybe we can talk about what I'll be doing in our law class. So, in our law class, they ask us questions like, do you think it's okay to sell your kidney? 
if the person decides to do it with him. But do you, if the person is rich, I don't mean to kidnap you and like, but I mean like, is it wrong to be like, hey, I want to sell my kidney for money? Is it wrong to do that? Like I said, they can do whatever they want. But legally and morally, do you think it's right? Well, morally, it, that's my answer. Legally, they can do it because I say that you're allowed to do that. Here. It's morally right to give up one of your kidneys. Legally, you can do it. So is it legally right? I mean, they allow you to do it. So technically, but that's the correct answer. Legally do it. So legally, you cannot do it, but you can donate it and get a reward. No, I'm can, pretty sure you can legally do it. You cannot. You cannot sell your, any part of your body legally, but you can donate. Let me see. I'm, doing, I'm the one doing the law class, bro. Okay. <laughs> you cannot legally sell your organs, but you can donate your organs and get a reward for it. Oh. What do you say? You can get a reimbursement. So technically, you're kind of right. I mean, you're kinda... Can you say it again, please? You get a reimbursement. Thank you. Different than what you did, but okay. So that's what I'm saying. I'm doing low. See. Okay, listen to the lawyer. Even if I'm only doing one it's course. Just, like, the U.S. is funny because it's literally, like, it's literally just a change of word that they're using there. That's the thing. Like, I have law. Law is so crazy here because, like, one single word can really, like. I know. Okay, so he was telling us, like, um, so, so he was giving us some cases. So this is. It's not my content. This is for my professor, so I don't want any copyright infringement kind of stuff. Cause I'm scared. You can't unless you like say it or show it. I mean, don't worry. But can... he was giving us the situation that there's something in the business law, like, cause I'm doing business law. There's something in business law that the employee, the employee, well, who's the the staff? The staff is the employee, right? Yeah. So the employee has the as long as the employee is acting in good faith for the company, the employee can cannot get in trouble. There was given us a um, I think it was a lawsuit that happened in Texas, in one of the places in Texas. I'm not sure where in Texas, but he was like, there's this white woman who saw this Mexican girl, and the dad was gonna get the filling the gas for the truck they had. Right. And then the girl came and she gave the credit card to the woman like the, the woman the employee and she was like no we don't take cards from people like you we only take cash from people like you because she was mexican and the girl was like what do you mean it got money in it and then she was like no we only take cash from you and started like spinning out like racist words to her and everything so they sued right and guess what happened the employee was right and won the case because she was acting in good faith for the business. I was like, wait, what? Like, what? Because as long as she was doing it when it was, as long as she was doing it when she was at work and she had the, the work uniform, you cannot justify that she was being racist even if she was saying racist word, you can justify. You cannot justify that she was being racist to her. You you can, but you can. It might be the fact that she was trying to defend her. Her. Employer. I I was just like I was just like it's just so crazy, like, like this like the littlest word just gets like really annoying. Like, I was like, thank God I'm doing this class because I'm about to sue some people right now for what they be saying to me. But let's go, let's go. Um, um, another one was um, there was a guy who it was a lawsuit about a guy who works in a mattress company, and then told the woman. Yeah, so the guy works in a mattress company, and then the the his boss was like, "Hey, do not 
take the mattress upstairs and so they pay you. And then the own the person who wanted, who wanted to buy the mattress was like, hey, don't don't give them the money until they bring the mattress up. Like, so we're having some miscommunication. And then the guy brought the mattress in and I was like, hey, you gotta pay me. No, he he brought the mattress, but he he left it on top. He left it outside her room. He was like, I'm not gonna bring it in until you pay me. And the girl was like, no, I'm only going to bring the mattress. I'm only going to pay you when you bring the mattress into the house and arrange it like how you said. And then the guy was like, hey, I'm a rapist. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to like rape you and cut you off if you do not pay me. And she was thinking it was a joke. And then the guy actually took her scissors, cut her clothes, raped her and tormented her with the scissors. And yet the guy, because the guy was acting in good faith, of the business, he didn't get as much. I mean, he went to prison, but he I think it was like he didn't get as much punishment for that because it was acting. I don't know, like it's just weird, like the way the business law in America is. It's like, like so he was telling like, okay, so you can copyright, like for example, like, like you cannot copyright the image, but you can adjust the image, like uh, likeness. Yeah, like, for example, like, Nike sign is like this. So if you do like this and just put a snap, it's not a Nike sign. Or you put a, and he was like, or you put a yeah. sign and then you put a dot on top. It's not a Nike. Because I was just like, man, man. And, <sighs> yo, America, y'all crazy with the law. It's crazy. And then each state has different laws. Mm -hmm. So, like, in New York, what is legal in New York? Like, for example, abortion, I think in Virginia, it's not legal. But in New York, it is. So as long as it is, and then I, I was just like, it's just so much to learn. But anywho, it was, it's a really interesting topic where we have like, again, the next question is, do you think it's okay to sell babies? No, what? Babies. It's pretty much what abortion is. You're selling babies. Adoption, yeah. Yeah, so the thing is, adoption, you're not, so... Yeah, you're not selling, but it's pretty much your giving. Yeah, so that's why everyone was like, that's pretty much adoption. But legally, adop I don't know, man. It's a merc. The adoption is a different. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it'll be like adoption is something, something. It's not selling the baby, but it's um a form of, of, of value exchange. I was like, isn't that selling? But it does quickly, yes. But again, words they use words to different, yeah. They use words. So, our question is, what do you think? Is it okay to sell babies, but not like an adoption way? Is it okay to sell babies morally, morally, and ethically? That's a tough one for me. That's what I was saying. Like, we had that's, that's how our class is like, like you, I think the instinct is to say no. Right, just because, mm -hmm. like, that's like a very tough thing to like see, especially like if you have like a good family of your own, you're a super family person. But then at the same time, there are circumstances where mm, you are able to give the person a better life and such, mm -hmm. and give them to a better family that's more able to take care of them instead of maybe having to deal with so many things growing up and problems and such. So that's very difficult to very like yeah. the topic to come up because you can say either yes or no like in those both regards i can definitely go yeah i can definitely go. yeah it's 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 a really tough question to be honest it's that's not and then we face questions like this in class and they'll be yeah. asked i cannot really remember like um there's just so many events he tells us about and i'm, I'm just like and then like how he was like because he was a farm my, my he has a farm and then he was like oh he cannot sell milk he cannot sell milk fresh milk that he just like milked out of the cow without processing it from the american food whatever 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 so if he sells it he can go to jail for that and so but also when I, you look at the american blah 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 like the american food and whatever whatever most of the, I don't know 100% real, like if this is real or not. So they were telling me like, 
most of the milk in America, it's not fresh. It's maybe mixed with water or something. It's not organic milk. And then someone who's willing to sell organic milk for the same price just than the fake milk can get into trouble. I don't know, man. I was just like, it's just crazy. And then he was trying to ask his opinion. I was like, in Nigeria, people don't sell, like, we don't need the American NAFDAQ to, like, approve of some certain things. Like, um, be like with the honey, we get honey from the raw honey. Like you even see the bee sometimes inside the honey. Someone can sell it and start their own business. It's not as long as it's fresh, it's not legally wrong, you know what I mean? Like, like no one cares. Except you're doing like drugs or like you know, like snacks that that you need the Nigerian Food and Drug Association. Look at it. But in terms of like fresh milk and stuff, it's not like that. So Oh no, the American law is just really, 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 really interesting. I would say it's just very interesting the way everything is just put and the way everything is phrased in a way and the loopholes you can use. So I'll just say it like that. Yeah, that's another interesting thing because like there's a lot of governing boards and a lot of committees and such you have to uh, get approval yeah. foods and medicine and everything and that can get very diluted and such right there's so much business and so much stuff like that so i don't know that's to be honest that could be like a whole episode on its own just because like there's so much you can go into all that and like yeah there there's so much stuff but like you said um because I obviously did business as well, so ethics was a huge thing. So doing like ethics theory and all that stuff was very interesting. And you get yeah, and you get into a lot of like those other questions. Like the most famous one, obviously, is like you you're standing in one spot with like a, a switch or whatever, and there you're on a train track. There's like one person that did something terrible, whatever, and yeah. like a family member or like. Uh, three yeah. people in a family or whatever which one would you like do oh, yeah. and you have to choose one wow. um, those are uh, those are interesting ethical questions you know that they ask you and really make you think of like uh, what's your morals and what's your kind of what standpoint and then when you mix business in there you start going into yeah like um yeah. pretty much how er and her and then and then um like all these different aspects that you kind of have to think about of like okay what are the ways of doing business what's ethically right what's ethically wrong in terms of what are you able to do what are you able to say um sharing respect not showing respect um when things go wrong or there's you know whistleblowing there's a bunch of other stuff so it's it's very interesting topic maybe we'll, we'll do a cool episode of all of that i think that'd be pretty cool yeah like the american law is this is this really crazy and i was just like wow oh my god it's... and the thing that makes me annoyed is that each state have something different so like we were like so we have a group presentation this week we would on thursday and then our company so you have to make your own company excuse me so you have to make your own company and then look at the legal aspect of that company you're making. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, okay, let's have company go to New York because I feel like, because the journalism publishing is a publishing company. So I was like, the best pub, the best place or the best state for you to do a publishing company is New York, right? Because of the oh, laws. Oh, LA. LA, right. Big one, yeah, big one. Oh my God. I saw the, like, the recommended, like, the laws and then it's like this and then if it's in if it passes jersey it's out of the jurisdiction and i was like hmm. you guys should just choose one law why you guys gotta be because america's yeah. complicated because like they have one constitutional body right whereas like it governs the whole u.s there's certain rules about that but then each state like you said has its own legislation so it's kind of difficult it's, to have an agreement on one thing versus the other so it's, it's uh, really complicated this, this person does this and that, i'm like what the hell and then we're like we were like we were trying to like um in one of our classes we we're trying to um what's the word um like as a, like he was like, as a lawyer imagine yourself as a lawyer and this happened 
and it was about abortion or something. So she's from Texas. She got pregnant in Texas. And a day or two days, she went to New York, got aborted, aborted the baby in New York. Because in New York, I think it's legally allowed to abort, but in Texas, it's, you know, they're having the debate about it. And then as a lawyer, how will you defend your... um? How are you going to defend your, what's the word? Case. Case. And then you are the, um, you're working as, so we're not really lawyers. So we're going to business. Yeah, so law, legal issues in business. Business. Yeah. business. So it's like, okay, what are the business ideas you have to, I was just like, what are the business facts that you can use to back up your client? And then imagine you're the opposing team of the plaintiff. I was like, what the hell? Just take the girl to jail or just leave her alone, okay? Stop asking me stupid questions like this. <laughs> like, is that how she goes to jail or not? Okay, just let her be. I was like, no, oh, question is this. And then I was just like, and then she's not legally of age in 18, but the concept, like in America, in New York, I think you have to be 16 or 15 to get, you can have, con I was just like, I was like, you know what? I don't know, man. Just, is that how you put her in jail or you don't put her in jail? Just that, just, I don't, I, I don't know. Because you guys were asking me questions. And I'm just looking at them and I'm just like, I don't, I'm not American yet. So I don't know how this relates to me in any way. But it's like, now, if you want to make a business and this and this and that, I was just like, oh my God. No, so, so, even, yeah. even, even like going further on what you said is like, so there's like laws that are different, right? Mm -hmm. But another thing that goes into like all that professions and stuff so if mm. you become a lawyer in one place you can't automatically become a lawyer in a different state you have to take yeah. an exam for that state and get certified for that state and such so it goes even to like what you do as a career and each place has different like outcomes of like how you can become this or that so it's like it's it's kind of all over the place a little bit to be honest but uh yeah, I think that'd be super cool to talk about more states of like the it's, U.S. as a whole, right? As like this image that people have, but when you get here, that's so different just because you have so many different places that are different. Yeah, and different. Yeah, your yeah, you're Democrats, your Republicans, your other parties, and then like, so there's a moral and ethical there, and like kind of what they believe, but then there's also government side. Which yep. with a lot of like dealing with business, but then there's a lot of shady stuff too. But then there's a lot of like good stuff happening. So it's a bunch of like, yeah, it's a lot of like mixed pot of things for sure. And then I think the mindset because I was I remember when I was coming here, and it's not the first time in America, but I've never lived like a whole year in America, right? Um, I think one of a Korean, she was like, oh. When you come to America, Americans are not really nice as Koreans and that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, that's what she, because she, so the thing is that she's from New York. She uh, lived in New York. No, well, New York. Okay, makes sense because New York is not on the most, but you can find nice people in New York, but they're not really oh, yeah. because New York is a working city. So she was telling me, like, people are not as nice, people are not as friendly as you think. And so she was just giving me that mindset. I was like, okay. And I came here and people were like, nah, I went to Atlanta. I, I dropped out of Atlanta first. And then people in Atlanta were just so nice. They're like, hey, I I I didn't I think I stole the story before, but I didn't have um, money for food. And the guy was like, hey, just take my food. I'm about to leave. I was like, for real? I was like, yeah, welcome to America. Give me a drink. Give me food. Because um, in Atlanta airport, you can use cash. You cannot use cash. You can only use card. And I'm not going to name the airline. But they just kept on postponing my flight for like two days. So you can imagine if you're in America, <laughs> you probably know, especially during the time. So I had to sleep in Atlanta for two days. And the guy was, and then the guys were so nice, like, hey, do you need a blanket, girl? Like, oh, girl, you put your, like, I was just like, I'm, I'm not thinking that's there. I was like, well, Americans are not as unfriendly as I thought. I think that's all because here people would just start a conversation with you and the boss. Hi, what are, what are you doing? Guys, I said, I like your, you know, comment on you. So it's kind of easy to talk to people here mm -hmm. compared to everyone in Korea is kind of that individualistic kind of thing. So even Koreans. Well, that, so that's, that's a very interesting topic too, because like people there 
are like individual like individuals right like they are more to themselves right but it's a culture of like being together right so that's interesting but when you're here people think we're a lot more individual right because we're all about ourselves and like all these different things that we want but i think when you get here people are surprised of like how open and friendly <laughs> people can be friendly that, like that shocks people even thanksgiving like some of my professors were like hey they even emailed us some professor emailed like you guys are in place come you can come to my house i'll pick you up you know um yeah i was like that's really not wow. Korea. no one give no one give a sh no professor gave <laughs> and uh, no one can yeah that's what i'm saying so um and then in korea they have this junk so is it junk where like everyone is meant to be like family and familiar with each other but um, i'm just um in a way they do that in a way and then, you're into the korean culture but i think that's one other thing i um i kind of didn't really like in the korean culture because they you mm. Because, of course, America is very diverse in a way, but mm -hmm. I felt like it had to be... The Jang sometimes will only have to... Sorry. Uh, I had a... What the hell? Um, Between fellow Koreans, if you get what I mean. Uh -huh. So, or if you have been there or you've been knowing that fellow Korean for a very long time, then you get that sense of it, but... Here, I was like, nah, people are so much nicer. Like, Thanksgiving, your professor is like, I'll pick you up. I'll take you home. I know, like, you know what I mean? They're willing to pick you up for Thanksgiving. People are willing to help you. Like, I was just like, I was like, I'm so sorry to bother you. I know you already took this class already, but, and I didn't even know him. He was like, yeah, he put me through. People are ready to, like, in a way, um, help you with stuff. Um, People smile at you. As you're walking, even if they're fake smiles, I know most of them are fake smiles. I've seen a lot of fake smiles. But oh, mm -hmm. yeah, but still, it's like, you know. But there's an attempt, obviously. You know, there's yeah. there. So. And like, um, the thing that even shocked me was the fact that my things fell. And this guy, like, he just he just got off his car and then he just like helping me pack it up. I was like, oh, thank you. In Korea, no one ever helped. Well, not no, but. Sometimes they will step on my stuff. I'm not trying to say Korea is bad. Don't get that bad no. image. Yeah, but it's just like... I'm just talking about like some experiences, man. The experiences. It's like, um, well, maybe mm. here you can... I feel like in America, you can feel more at home. Mm. And in Wigugin, like no one says you're Wigugin. Like people don't even say, oh, you're an international student. They just, oh, where are you from? Nigeria. Oh, that's cool. That's it. No, yeah. Like, you know? like, I, like we probably talked... We talked about this topic too. It's like, a, for like, a foreigner doesn't really exist here. Yeah. That for foreigner concept doesn't exist really in America. Like, yeah, this is the 21st century. And I understand, as I said, Korea is a... It's a... Logistic. Not a versus a mystical country, but... I don't know. I think... I don't know. I just, I got, I just got over it at a point in time. I was like, well, yep. It's Korea. But I feel, I feel like also Korea is also getting open. Mm -hmm. so it's going to take quite a while so i'm actually proud of this i'm very proud of it um but yeah here was just that was another big holiday difference because here in the holidays like you know like okay even at chusok people still work at chusok yeah people still work at chusok is actually the best time for international students to work chusok is like yeah. it's it's and yeah, thanksgiving chusok mm -hmm. is the best because chusok People are working and working and working and working and working. But here, Thanksgiving Day, everything was closed. Like, they, no delivery, no this, no that, no. Everything was closed. Like, the school was closed. Mm -hmm. um, I think some ER places closed, too. Uh, Maybe smaller ones. Huge ones will probably stay open. But of course, huge ones. The that, uh, there's a lot of them. Never get, get a break. But the the small ones, because I said I live in a very small town. Yeah, community. So, like the ears was close, so everything was just quiet. People were just in homes. There was no restaurant open. Mm -hmm. You know, back in Korea, it wasn't like that. Chuseok people are still working doing Chuseok. 
Yeah, I remember mm. a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people still. Um, the holidays like Christmas, also Christmas, people are already getting ready for Christmas. People are like, okay, we're going to be with families together. People are already planning trips for Christmas. But mm. back in Christmas, it was more of like a couple thing. So for oh, me, I was kind of a couple thing, yeah. Christmas alone or uh, just go to, as I said, I just mostly shout out to my Vietnamese friends. Shout out to Vietnamese people and Thai people, Southeast Asians. I feel like because we have similar culture, I think that's why we rhyme. I don't know. But um, yeah, we would just spend Christmas together. But for them, I think because in Asia, I don't think Christmas is something like, it's just something that became a trend. It wasn't something like they would. Mm, like part like, of the culture. Yeah, like compared to like Nigeria or um America, where it's like, oh, Christmas is like a big thing. Mm. Like they they already start to sell hams already. Mm. No, and people are putting lights up already and such. Oh like, my god! In October, dude, my neighbors they have a Halloween slash Thanksgiving slash Christmas decoration. So they have a skeleton, like a big. I don't know how, dude. They they're very creative here. So they got like a big skeleton who's wearing a Christmas hat and has like the the Christmas, you know, the Christmas yeah. thing. Um, then he's holding a turkey, <laughs> and buddy's lighting up. I'm like that the person who yo creative, like yo you you just decided to. I'm just going three two plus one. That was a two plus one <laughs> special. Well, three plus one. Declaration. It's a two plus one. How's it a three plus one? I'm just kidding. I can't yeah. tell jokes here. Gosh. No, and Brian, that's my thing. <laughs> that's true. That that is kind of your weird thing. Where <laughs> three plus one? Huh? You know why I said it could be a three plus one? Because hmm. it was playing like uh Marvin Gray. Oh. So it could be like maybe for Valentine's Day. I don't know. I was like, what the what is, I was like, what is wrong with Americans? Like, you guys are just so creative. Like, they go all out in the Christmas decoration. Like, no, yeah, for sure. And I'm like, well, you guys holidays don't are huge here, people. And that's what I'm saying. Holidays are huge, and it's like kind of like a family friend kind of thing where people actually do things. Like, even here, like here, I'm I'm broker here than I was in Korea. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't think that's kind of hard to imagine, to be honest. Here, but here it's like you just have like even the people you meet, you're like, like even one of my MBA class, like, oh, let's do Secret Santa, like you know, group members. Like I don't know them. They're like, okay, let's guys want to do Secret Santa. Sure, let's do Secret Santa. Like even if you're as boring for us in a national student, sometimes people are willing to come together, especially people from. I want other thing is I don't know maybe because maybe because I'm a master's student. But like all okay, I'll say that. I don't say like all Nigerians and all Koreans, but I don't think that happens. I think maybe you 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 flow well with more of your country people, but you can you can miss. So people are just doing like even if it's boring, some of us don't have some of us don't have like I know like some Koreans, they're not going back to Korea. So they and their roommate, they go to their roommate's house. they you know what I mean? Like one mm. guy was like to spend Christmas on my in my roommate's house for like three weeks because the dorms are closed. I was like, for real? You know? I was like, that's even like that's like I feel like here people care more. Maybe I don't know, maybe because I'm in that like a Christian school or maybe because I'm in a small town compared to like when I was in mm -hmm. Seoul and yeah, but I feel like people care like People are written like, even my professor was like, hey, if you guys don't have anything, you guys can come to my farm. You know, and he put his address of his farm. And people actually came to his farm and had a, a really nice Thanksgiving. So I was just like, I hear I feel like here people care more mm -hmm. here compared to like Korea. And I said, I don't know it better because of the city and whatever, but no, I people, agree with you with that too, to be honest. Yeah, people care more like people are like, oh, let's do um Secret Center, you know. And let's let's do something together. Let me pick you up. Oh, okay, let's do this. But back in Korea, like you could be in the same class with that person for four years. You guys are in the same class, and you know you guys even sometimes will sit down together, and you guys can have no relationship at all. 
and they just like it's like maybe there's a there's a wall but here i don't feel like i have to break any wall it's just like it's just transparent hi mm. hey then when we get to know each other we cannot be like hey i don't want i don't maybe i don't want to talk to you anymore that kind of stuff but there is just like very different so i don't know so that's why i'm like here maybe in the holidays even if i'm alone and i'm broke there's still fun here in a way like if some friends can be like, hey, um, come to my house, I made this soup. Or you can come to my house, I made this. And, oh, let me pick you up, that kind of stuff. And gas, and the thing is that gas prices are really expensive, but people are still willing to go the extra mile for you. But I feel like even in Korea, I don't know, maybe it's the friends I made, but... I think in general. Yeah, I thought... friends I made, but even that, like, we don't even, we have the Giacho, like the, what is Giacho? What? What is Jiachal in? Uh, yeah, um, the subway. So we had the subway and the buses back in Korea, but like some of them would not even be willing to like, and like, even make effort to come and meet you or hang out with you. And then I'm like, bro, I can literally see you on your Instagram story. So it's just like, you know... There's no point. But here, people are like, oh, let's do something together. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's travel to Kentucky together. Like, someone was like, oh, let's travel to Kentucky together. I don't trust her because, I don't know, she has told me some deep things. I mean, I'm not someone, I'm not a judgy person. I already judged her already, but... um, I'm not a judgy person, but I already did. I'm not judging people. I already judged them already. I'm not judging you, but I've judged you. You know what I mean? It's different. You know, I'm not judging in the process. I've already judged wow. you. Now, now we're talking about like terms, right? Long. Past and present. <laughs> <laughs> I love concepts, man. I don't so judge I'm, people now, but I did before, and I did it before. before. I think I'm doing it now. I'm not doing it now, but I've already judged. See, I would judge you, but I'm willing to listen to you. That's one thing about it. And then if you oh. change my, that's it. But I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I'm just know. kidding. If somebody's like really open to you like that, then maybe listen at times. Because usually people that tell you that really, really deep are like going through things. So you never know. He's going through mm-hmm. stuff. As I said, I had a crazy roommate who was going through stuff. I'm still praying for her to. Yeah. You need so... some of those crazy roommate stories you've had before. Yeah. Didn't I tell you before? Yeah, yeah, you told me. Yeah. And I even showed you the chat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you tell me everything that happened. And, uh, like, yeah, and... I was like, no, I'm not doing no... That's why <laughs> I've never had a roommate, guys. Because stories like that that I've heard throughout my whole journey. So, Like, it's like, yeah, no. Like, I have a roommate, but we have different... We share different rooms and different bathrooms. So the only thing that's we're a lot better. That's, that's a lot that's better. A- and she's hardly at home. Like I'm out. We hardly see each other. It's only maybe in the night because I'm at work. She's at work. She's in class. I'm at work. We're hardly at home. Like home is just where we sleep mm-hmm. and our food, literally. Like I'll be at work seven a.m. I'll come back like eight p.m. You know, because I'm not about to do no. No, I'm not gonna do that. So. Basically, that just said it, but yeah, that's why I was like, no. So I was just like, um, see, surely, like, but I was like, look, I don't know, let's see what goes on. If someone comes with me, but yeah, just like, it's just so much, um, able to find. I'm not saying you find real friends in America compared to Korea, I don't know, but I just feel like people are more open here. Oh, for sure. Well, that one. And I feel like people are more caring. Like, as I said, for the Thanksgiving, I was so shocked. I was like, oh. And the next time, he's not even my professor. We just met him. We just met him because he's a professor for the um, design, digital digital designing kind of guys. And I'm in the BA, so I have nothing to do with him. But he was just like, oh, yeah, I met you. I don't know if you remember me. I'm having a... Um, Thanksgiving in my house. Do you want to come? I can pick you up. I was like, oh, wow. That's really nice. But back there, he's like, because I know as an international student, must have anything to do. But I was going to say, Chusok, like, 
as I said, professors don't give they don't care about what's going on with you. Um they don't try to they don't even try to like um I think it depends on the professor, but most professors they only care about like school stuff mm -hmm. and that's just it. And then sometimes if you meet them like outside, I met one of my professors outside in Korea and I was like, Hi professor this and he just ignored me like he didn't know me. I was like, um, okay. I still have your class on Monday, so I don't know why you're ignoring me. And here I met my professor. He was like, how are you? What are you doing? And I was like, oh, my goodness. I was like, oh, okay. You know, it's very different. But no, I, just... I, I agree with you on that because, like, uh, my stories that I've told, like, when I first arrived in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, I've said multiple times that it felt like there was a wall there in terms of, like, people putting it up first. And, like, not being a place where like people would come up to you and like talk to you and try to be friends with you, you would have to do most of it yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had to do that. Like at the beginning, I thought like it was gonna be more openish, but then it wasn't that way. So I was like, oh, okay, so I'm not gonna have any friends unless I like go out and like actually talk. So that's when I actually did, and then like lucky for me, good people. But obviously, you get those people that are like no I'm not interested at all and like they walk away from you like like you just didn't like go up to them and like be nice they just literally walk away and like no and then like stuff like that and that does happen there and then yeah it feels like there's here at least you get a lot of people that like do care in terms of oh, oh what, care, uh, even what are you doing how how are you like mm -hmm. Is, are things okay? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? In my time in Korea, other than like you and some other people, like I had some people like, that I've known friends and whatever, they never reached out unless like they don't like they wanted something or something like that. So then I was just like, what? Like, no, like, do I even count this as like a friendship? Not really. So th that was, like, a big thing for me, like, uh, seeing that big difference in terms of, like, people don't really reach out much there. Like, I had to do a lot of the reaching out, which is very interesting in my sense, just because, like, at least through my experience in university and, like, working, it's easy, it's easy pretty much to, like, get to know people here and, like, talk. And like you said, like, you meet a lot of people just in random places. Like you said, on the bus or whatever, they might end up talking to you. Or like me, I was in uh, jury duty like a couple months ago. Boom, people just started talking to you and then you like you make a group or whatever. So it's like interesting, but there in Korea it was tougher. That could be obviously because like you're a foreigner, so it's still kind of this foreigner thing. There, there could be some of that. It could be like, mm, obviously people can be afraid of like, uh, like English speaking and like being afraid of doing that and because they are not confident in their abilities and such because I know people that are like yeah I wanted to be friends but I didn't reach out because like my English isn't very good or whatever and I'm like oh that's an interesting kind of thing but I don't know there's a bunch of they're positive stuff man yeah, there's like... a bunch of small stuff in there but yeah they're all goods and bads but also like I was yeah. asking it was like the reason is that Koreans, you have to give them a reason why they have to open up to you because they don't want to be hurt. So I was like, oh, okay, makes sense. For me, I don't know. Because I said it's different. Because in Nigeria, we don't really take heartbreaks like very seriously like that or fresh out. Oh, okay. I don't know. We don't really like take like a breakup or like let's say your friend doesn't or maybe because of my family, your friend, like, he expected this from your friend, and your friend betrayed you, or whatever. Uh, but like, okay, God God will punish you, not me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, so for me, even, like, I have some friends who I'm like, oh, it is what it is. I cannot stress myself or be angry mm -hmm. at, for sure. at myself because of, I think maybe that's the also the mentality of Nigerians, so that's why for me, it's like, oh, okay. So I was like, oh wow, the world is so it's so it's one world but different things. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's a so, that, so that's a collection what... of so many moving parts that it's okay. So I was like, dude, Earth, I feel like 
Earth is like the celebrity of other planets. I feel like other planets are like jealous of us because like, like you can imagine the aliens in Mars and Jupiter, they're just the same thing. They all speak the same language. But for us, we have like what? More than a million languages. Like, man, if I, if I was- Are there a million languages? More than a million languages. Because in Nigeria, we already have like 500. Eh? Uh-huh. So, that's like there's more than like a million languages. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, like, what about the Jupiterians and the Mar, the Mar? Um, the so there's only 7,139. You're, you're really going to believe the internet? Yeah, because. The internet is the same. Look, no, no. I mean, it's literally posted on like university. This isn't the world that the internet doesn't even know about. There are people. Thousand, there's only 7,000, no, a million, but. You're close. You're close. But what about people in the rainforest? Did the internet count they, them too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like about... 195 countries were included. What? 195 countries. 195. Well, countries. they said that in countries. Africa. Countries with, enough with them. languages in those countries. Seven thousand what is it? One hundred seven thousand one hundred and thirty-nine, I think. I don't believe it. There's your what there's more than one million languages. No, there's there. not. There please comment if you think who side on your No, let's not start this. Let's not start let's there not start that. One million. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot no. the, internet, the internet will tell you that there are fifty countries in Africa. There are more than fifty countries in Africa. There's some okay. place in Africa that maybe the UN or the places don't consider as a country, but they are a country. So they don't even participate and count those people part of the 7,000. So if there are 7,000 and more, but then, yeah. But then you start with like complicated stuff. Because <laughs> like, then you, because now you're like going to start like talking about like things like, oh, in the US, there's a small population in this state. Yeah. Like, that state is like not part no, of that state. So that's going to go... Life matter, man. <laughs> Don't start with me. Ah, but you're, 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 starting, you're starting stuff yourself. I feel like the a, so as I was saying, so the, the Jupiterians and the Marians and the Venusians are oh, just going to Lemurian. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, like the aliens that live in Jupiter and Mars would be so oh, jealous. What a name, Jupiterian. Jupiter. That's what it's called. I think. Oh, so you know. I think. Oh, you think? Okay, that's. I think because, like, imagine, like, the oh. Jupiter. Maybe people can maybe like the Jupiterians. They have like you think they have different race, like strawberry and chocolate race. Mm, that'd be good. All right, maybe maybe we should start like closing statements now because I think you're losing it. I think but, you're losing it. But, but wait, let's look at it. Let's look at it. If you were from another planet, wouldn't you be jealous of Earth? Well, part of you would be like, uh, not if you knew of Earth, but how do you how do you know they know of us? It's, Dude, they know true. the noise we make and the pollution we have. I think the people, the Jupiterians, actually feel. Yeah, it too. they're gonna tell from literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands phones, and thousands they, of miles away. Who, who told you that aliens don't have their own social media? Who told you aliens are not on TikTok yet? Why you think why you think they ask you, are you a robot anytime you <laughs> boy, you gotta start thinking about things like that. Why do you think that they always ask so you? So a thing that's telling you if you're a robot, a robot, right? Technology uh -huh. robot has to do with like being alien. Because the aliens use the robot to spot boy. Yeah, and the robot's gonna be like, no, no, I'm not a robot. Or yes, what? I am a robot. Like they, they don't can, answer yes to the question. They can program the robot. Why do you think? Why do you think that anytime you go on Google or anytime you go to other places, they always ask you, "Are you a robot?" and tell you to click some stuff. Because that's how like people use like these different systems on computers and stuff to hack people and stuff. They use like AI generations and that's what I'm trying to say. How do you know? Oh, so. Computer AI and all that stuff is aliens. We they might be using it. We don't know. All right.
we're going we're going into a black hole. We're going <laughs> in a black hole right now. <laughs> a never ending sinking hole of thoughts. We're really right. happening right now. All right. Interesting. Let us know if you want any of these topics that we talked about because we did a mixed bag of everything, literally. <laughs> um, I, we literally from, went into from, politics to friends to culture to aliens to whatever. Then Jupiterians. Jupiterians. Remember that word, guys. Jupiterians. Super and then, oh, random question. Random question. Oh, I was going to get there. I was going to get there. So, okay. yeah. So let us know about that. Uh, this is going to be a shorter episode, but yeah, because uh, we we're I was expecting people, but hopefully next week we'll have that. But yeah, mm-hmm. so shorter episode, but let's end it, obviously, every day, every time we do this with Zerona's question. And honestly, it's probably going to deal with what we just talked about. Maybe, probably, most likely. So let's go. What is it, Zerona? If you were a, if you were in a planet except from Earth. What planet will you be and what will you call yourself? You can't be Jupiterians, okay? That's a, that's my planet already. Is that your answer? Yeah, I'm a Jupiterian. If I wasn't on Earth, I'll be a Jupiterian. Jupiterian. <laughs> I have one in mind, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> what what, no. what planet? I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say Uranus, right? Uranus, the blue planet. Uh, is it number seven or number eight? It's seven. Uh, seven? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I... there, and then obviously a name for it. Uh, a name for my people in Uranus. <laughs> There's a lot of words you can maybe come up with, so I'll let you guys think about that one. What's the idea? Uh, uh, something that comes in Uranus. Uh, Uranus. Oh, Uran- your your Uranian, Uranians. Oh, Uranian. Oh, but it sounds like already like you're from like a country from here. I don't know that one. Mm, it sounds too earthly. You, your your aliens, your aliens, like like you're actually aliens. Like somebody's calling you Uranian. That's an interesting. Oh, why am I so good at it? <laughs> Just kidding, but Uranians. I like Uranians. Uranians are pretty cool. Yeah, Marvel, if you want to use it, please. <laughs> Uranians. Uh, Marvel or DC comics or anime. What would be another one cool one? Um, I, what is the first planet of the sun? Mercury. A Mercury. Mercurian. Maybe a Mercurian. Mercurians? Are you from Venice? You're Vien- you're v- Vietnamese. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're not Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, you're um, Ben. You're Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> you literally really thought about that. That is good. Apologize to them. Apologize to all of them. I apologize, man. I didn't mean any hate. Um, I don't know. Obviously, we're just kidding. Nothing. Just tell us what country, what what planet you. Or maybe even not even a planet in our solar system. If you know more, pet, I would say there's a lot more planets out there. So let us know. No, they're not. They are. No, they're not. There's literally other solar systems. I okay. Tell us. Give us one name that of other solar systems. Oh. Oh. Have you have to do this with Zerona? Not with the aliens. Look, I have connection with you, Jupiterians, and they didn't tell me any of that. So... <laughs> uh... I don't think they are. Even Pluto. Pluto. No, they... there's, there's more. There's so many because stars make planets, or the explosions of stars makes. The solar systems and yeah. more stars and more planets and more. That that's why sense. they're called like exoplanets. Literally. Exoplanet? Exo? They're called exoplanets. Now they got BTS too now in this country. <laughs> BTS planets. No, literally. Look them up. B- like exo. I was about to say BTS planets. Exoplanets and exo solar systems. I don't. It's a. 
it's only Jesus that creates planets. Only God and Jesus that creates planets. That's my understanding. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're not. But they are, because it's literally proven, but okay. Literally. And there's a ton more galaxies. We'll check that in the next episode. <laughs> Not the next one because we you might have guests. So I doubt we're gonna get the, the next want, next one. Just let us know. Wait, we're this, you, we're, we're talking about planets. What are we talking oh, about? That next? It's gonna be an argument about planets because now me and the Jupiterians are angry at you right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I know you're laughing inside because you're just making up stuff like completely. How do you know? That's how. What proof do you have that making up that? How do you know? How do you have proof that I'm not making up exoplanets and stuff? Because I already know you. You're already making it up. There's exoplanet, really? You should have said twice planet or G. No, literally, they're called exoplanets. Literally, that's the definition. Literally, they're called Jupiterians, too. That's how exo came up with their name. Exo. Because they're not from here. They're from somewhere else. Oh my god, Kai is from somewhere else. He must look like a Jupiterian. <laughs> So you, Kai, Hanbin, ex- ex- uh, Jupiterian? No, Kai is a Jupiterian. He looks like a Jupiterian. And Chen. Oh, Chen does look like a Jupiterian, too. Ooh. Is Chen Chen? Chen. And who else again? There's Kai, there's Chen. Dio. Dio looks like a Marius. Marius? Marius. People from Mars. No. Oh uh, no, I'm just making things up. I don't know. There you go, guys. She literally just said it. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> what I actually thought there's people called Jupiterians. No. So we it's don't a cool know. Name, though. It's a cool name. I'm not gonna lie. Jupiterians. Okay, that's the Jupiterians. No, no. Elon Musk, please prove it to me, please. He could, he could. We all know he's going to Mars, right? And then he mixed the Marians, right? And then he might go to Jupiter and then meet the Jupiterians too. And then Pluto, he can make the Plutonese. So <laughs> we're just oh. we're just making a bigger hole for ourselves, right? Now. Okay, yeah, sorry. We're just gonna end this episode because if I continue, it's gonna be stupid. Even my phone fell down. Oh my god. It's just it's just gonna be oh. a sorry. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, but yeah, let us know you were from a planet. <laughs> What planet and what would your species be called from that planet? Cool question. Let us know. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, smaller episode. We went a little bit longer than I thought, but fun. Super fun, <laughs> super enjoyable. As always, guys, subscribe. Obviously. Like the video, obviously. Comment, tell us everything from what you like, what you don't like answer to these questions, topics that we can talk about, anything that you want us to maybe have conversations about. Let us know. Hit the bell icon for whenever these videos come out, which is every week now. Super excited for that. So yeah, I look forward to more episodes. And I know a lot of you uh, that I reached out in Korea are watching more videos now. And most people I know are sharing them to different groups they're part of. So cool. Super cool. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, hopefully we'll have like more guests. And actually it would be kind of cool to have like a um some guests here and stuff. And like have them obviously talk with us, but also like maybe even like speak Korean as well and like share their thoughts and like their own language and stuff like that. That'd be very, very, very cool. Uh, to share with more people and then obviously we bring other people in from their cultures and stuff it'd be cool to do all that so yeah so look forward to that hopefully definitely my plan is to have people here next week so we'll see but yeah so look forward to that smaller episode um thank you it was fun i enjoyed it as one of your hosts and we'll see i'll just leave the end to zorona and she'll sign us off with guys so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this random <laughs> As I said, no offense to anybody. Um, we're just giving our thoughts. And um, 
just said um like and subscribe and um tell us too about also participate i know it's like very random stupid questions but please just try and participate just to like but that just makes you think about things and be like well what the hell you know not all the time you gotta think about life okay think about jesus and think about crazy stuff too those are the two important things you think about um yeah so i don't say much anymore but you know i just want to say bye-bye love you happy thanksgiving um uh, merry christmas in advance <laughs> in advance well we'll probably have an episode close to that so I don't know and happy valentine's day happy spring break and you know happy holidays man happy hanukkah Happy Salah. I don't know. I know I know the Salah is like in Nigeria it's Salah for the Muslims too, but you go. but yeah, um yeah, see you. 7 Eleven. Hey guys. Wow, you actually said it again in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye.